Hello everyone, uh, Nigel Gaff here, the English Medium. I uh, just want a bit of a chat really, start to um, post stuff on my YouTube channel about mediumship, my work, uh, what it's all about. Well, certainly what it's all about for me, it might be different for you. I've worked now as a medium for about 30 years, a long time to be honest with you. And in those years I've had many, many experiences. I've certainly grown a lot and through my growth, I've helped other people grow as well. So I've taught people, I've brought people on in their own spirituality and helped them on their journey. And I've now got healers that I talk to be healers that are healing, and also mediums and clairvoyants, some people running their own development groups that I taught years ago. So I want to talk a little bit about the basics of, of spirituality and the human being. So um, we'll, we come here from spirit uh, as a soul, into um, a baby, so uh, you're born into this world. When you're born, I want to talk about your chakras. So when you're born, your chakras, your energy points, which you have seven of major chakra centers, are completely and wide open. So they're comp completely pure and wide open, and the world yet hasn't tainted you, it hasn't affected you in any emotional or physical way. As you then grow, uh, and you become a child and you grow, at the age of about seven, six, seven, eight, around that age group, the chakra system starts to close down. So the energy, seven energy points start to close down because the soul starts to feel itself physically grounded in the body. So you lose, or you don't ever lose, but you certainly disconnect with that connection with the spirit realms. The seven major chakras that run through you, I'll explain now. You have your crown chakra here on top of your head. This chakra, and they spin like Catherine Wheel chakras do. The energy um, opens up and connects you with the divine. It connects you with the spiritual realms. The energy then drops to the third eye, which is here, the chakra here. This chakra is your seeing chakra. It's what you see clairvoyantly with. You then have a throat chakra here, which is also about communication. This is about speaking your truth, being able to speak. Um, then you have your heart and your chest here. This is about emotion. The solar plexus. The solar plexus and the heart are often connected. There's a bridge between the both. The solar plexus between the rib cage. The sacral, <clears throat> excuse me, below your belly button. And finally your root. And your root opens and connects you with Mother, Father, Earth. As I said, about seven or eight years old, this chakra system's closed down. And for 99.9% .9 of us, I, I guess they never open. But they can. Sometimes they open with an emotional trauma. A family tragedy, someone you lose very dear to you. Sometimes the grief can open the chakra system. Um, but you can, with practice through meditation and uh, internal work, open your own chakras. And as your chakras open, you then become connected back into the spiritual realms. And then you can start to see clairvoyantly, start to potentially hear clairaudiently, clairsentiently start to feel. Once the chakras are open, you can connect back. And all mediums, clairvoyant, psychic chakras are open. They've sat and developed to get them open again. There is a, a bit of a warning, it's not a warning, but there is a, um, something I have to say, that once the chakras are open, they can't be closed. So once your chakras are open and you're, and you're connected back to the spiritual realms, they can't be closed. Once the door is open, it can never be closed. Quite honestly though, most people that open the door, that open their chakras, never really want to close them again anyway, because the feeling of being connected back to the spirit realms is a beautiful one, um, and, and, and very self, very much helps you in your life. Now, these videos I'm going to do, sometimes daily and weekly certainly, are all going to be about um, your own self-development, how to open your chakras over time um, safely, and how to connect back to the spirit realm so your guides can come through, so your healers and your helpers can come through, so your family members can connect back with you in this realm. And it's possible for all of you. Obviously, the more sensitive you are as a person, the easier it is, the easier you can connect back. And that is the truth. Um, that's an unavoidable truth. So if you want to learn more, 
join me, check back, subscribe, and I think they say ring the bell. I'm not great. I'm not technology is not my thing. But if you um, if you do the technology thing, ring the bell and subscribe, then you get to watch my videos on a regular basis, which would be really good. The more subscribers I get, the better the channel will be. The more time I have to be able to post more videos. Um, and next time, the next one, we'll talk about the colours of the chakras, what they mean, how they work, and their purpose and how you can then start to open them. So good, take care, subscribe and like. Speak to you very soon indeed.